What um, do uh, the countries Portugal, uh, Wales and Sweden have in common? Right, let's start with Wales. Well, what they've all got in common is that in all three countries, there are moves to become time rebels in the political realm. There are new institutions and laws emerging to extend time horizons in political thinking and economic thinking. So Wales has a future generations commissioner. It's a public position. And the commissioner's job is to look at the impact of legislation in healthcare, environment, transport, education, its impact going at least up to 30 years in the future. How is it going to affect the well-being of the next generation? Now, as the, the Future Generations Commissioner's name is Sophie Howe, she will admit herself she doesn't have enough power and she'd like more. But there are now movements around the world trying to copy the Welsh example. I mean, in the UK, for example, um, there, uh, there is a bill in Parliament now for the whole UK to have a Future Generations Commissioner. They're talking about this in the Netherlands as well. So that's Wales. Sweden's really interesting because a few years ago they appointed what became known as a minister of the future to really embed foresight and long-term thinking into public policy. It was only a temporary position, but again, other countries have been picking up on this. In the UAE, there is a ministry of the future and cabinet affairs. In Japan, there are moves to have set up a ministry of the future. In Singapore, in fact, they've got very highly developed uh, foresight capabilities built into decision making right at the heart of government. And then Portugal. Right. So Portugal is really inter interesting because about half a dozen young people have been uh, filed a case with the European Court of Human Rights claiming rights for future generations to a clean and healthy atmosphere. This is a revolution in the legal sphere.